I got a lot of stuff from Terrificon. I got too much stuff. I made it work. But before we get started, listen to our friend, Big Jim Shooter. In three, two, one. Hi, I'm Jim Shooter. Please watch Three Men in the Basement. Like a movie star. What a great guy. Great man. Always interesting to talk to. So historical and everything that he talks about from the Marvel comic world. So what's everybody? We are on the heels of Terrificon. It is over. Time to give you my haul video. Show you what I got. Give you some backstories. This may take a little bit because I got a lot of stuff to show off. Um, and I'll tell you the backstories between everything. I think that's very important. But always subscribe to our channel now. Subscribe. My phone just went off. Oh, my God. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment below. Did I overpay? What did you guys think of Terrific Con? Are you going to be back next year? Let me know everything about that. And as always, you guys know we are sponsored by our good friends at Spineworks. They are at our table taking submissions, going over lots of big books. Lenny and Michael were both there having a great time. As always, Captured Collectibles crushed it at Terrificon. Uh, it was an absolute blast to have them there to take care of all of our signature needs because JRJR left the table a few times to do private signings. And if you didn't miss those, then you were hit. I didn't get a chance to meet them, but I did get my book signed because of Captured Collectibles. And the next thing we have on deck is Saturday, August 13th. Uh, myself and a few of the three men in the basement will be at the grand opening of Little Giants Comics and Collectibles Store. It's a Rockingham uh, Park in Salem, New Hampshire. Can't wait for that. So what did I get? First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to my man, BLC, who was doing a giveaway on his channel. And after half a dozen times of entering, I finally won. The Batmobile set, you know, guys know I'm a huge Batman Lego fan and I love the Batmobile. And I was able to win this in one of his live shows and he brought it to me. So I started off the weekend with a killer win. So I'm sure Justin, a.k.a. No Good Comics, a.k.a. No Good Labels, uh, No Good Legos is a little bit jealous, but I'm sure um, he'd appreciate this. So, yeah. So leading up to the show, a friend of mine bought a short box, said, how do I paid this for it? Would you buy it for this? And I said, yeah, because I could sell it at Terrificon. So it was a big investment. It was a $1,000 investment, uh, but it had some big books. It had a Doctor Strange 169. It had an Avengers 8. It had a, uh, a Detective Comics 359, First Batgirl. It had a Avengers uh, First Vision, high grade. Um, so I said, okay, I'll buy it. If I sell one or two books in the smalls, I'll make up for it. But I was also able to keep this stack of books, including the Wonder Man um, and this stack of Killer Silver uh, Bronze Age or Silver Age Avengers, which is I'm filling in. Real Superman book, real cool Red Tornado. So uh, lots of these, the Tales to Astonish, which I really love. These are in great shape. So I did. I was able to keep a lot of them for the PC um, there um, while moving it. So I had my short box set up. Everything was ready to go. I priced it all out. Two hours of being there, my man Streetside Anthony came up and said, "How much you want for the whole box?" Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I want. Streetside, what do you think? Five hundred. Five hundred. Boom. Five hundred. Gone. Uh, this was also in the box, so I kept that. So now that book, that box is gone, and I'm plus 500 instead of five. So I'm minus 500 um, for my investment. Um, and so then I wasn't really selling much on a Friday, but then on Saturday morning, um, a gentleman came up, looked at the uh, first Batgirl. I had it somewhere around the four. I had it priced at 450. The gentleman came up. Uh, it was at least a three five. We went over the book in detail. I said, you know what? Give me 400. Uh, and you could take it, and he took it. So boom, bang, 900. I'm only minus 100. I still got the Vision. I still got the Doctor Strange. Um, I still got the Wonder Man. I got some other books. So that was really cool. Um, so that's part of a later story, all right? But you guys know I like to do the deals before the deals, and I've been going after these Avengers books or books that are relative to the Avengers titles in 5.0s because my first cap is a 5.0. Uh, my first Hawkeye is a 5-0, and so I'm kind of making it all linear. Like, you know, I like linear. So I know I'll never get a Tales of Suspense 39 in a 5-0, but my boy Nick Sparazza from Mixed Bag Comics, give him a follow on IG. He's always doing great things there. Give him a follow, Mixed Bag Comics. He posted this, and this was a 5-0. 
And this isn't necessarily the first appearance of Thor. I know that. But this is the first Thor in his solo title right here. So I'm going to justify this as part of my linear set. It's a 5-0. It's got the Thor label. Looks really, really cool. And it's just a classic cover. And um, I've had a few of these, but not as high as this. So I was able to get this at a great price. Uh, Nick also threw in this Hercules book. And this Hercules book for an absolute great price. So this was a deal that I made before Terrificon and closed it at Terrificon. Now, Larry Hama was there. Try to um, get him to do a remark, but he really wasn't feeling it. So I kind of didn't push the, push the issue, but I did get him to sign my two, uh, two GI Joes, two Otto, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. I'm going to display these with my uh, silent issue 9.6. Pretty happy about that. And uh, I'll meet him again and I will have him. I had a um, raw copy of the silent issue that was donated or gifted to me by Big Daddy John Ross, which I didn't have him sign. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't get the feel that he was enjoying himself. I thought his handler was a little bit overbearing. And um, it took me a few minutes to talk to Mr. Hama and to get um, to realize that, you know, I'm trying to, we're having a great conversation. And um, I don't know, handler was a little bit of a twit. So, but. That's fine. We're going to move on from there. Um, then I was over at Carnivore Comics. This was earlier on Friday. You know, con exclusives are so hot. Um, I picked these up just because they were, these were con exclusives. These are Something to Kill Children 25 by um, Ariel Diaz. There was only 500. This is 179 and 180. And what's killer about it is the blade. You see the refraction on the blade? So pick that up. Probably one for sale. One for the PC. And you can see that Carnivore Comics has those right there. Happy about that. All right. Then this was another deal that was before Terrificon with my man Dennis, aka Four Comics. You know who he is. Uh, comic book IG. Um, great dude. And you know, lately I've been hot on Doom. And why not? Doom is really, really cool. I got my whole displays, I got lots of Doom stuff. Uh, probably my, you know, top three favorite villains in the MCU and really in all of comic books. So he had this Secret Wars figure, which came for the Marvel superheroes line in 1983. And he goes, hey, Otto, you interested? And uh, I said, man, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. He goes, I'll give it to you when I paid for it. Uh, but it was an unpunched figure. And I said, wow, that's really cool. So I picked this up. He had this. All right. And then later on, I was talking to some people and Joey doing deal said, you should have Shooter sign it because of the Secret Wars. I'll tell you, Joey, you're a smart dude. Talk to a few other people. Why not? I'm not selling it. It's going to go into display. So I ended up getting this and this is unpunched and it came out in 1983. So um, really cool to have it signed by Jim Shooter. All right. Then the next day, he had two more. Man, he really knows how to sell. So he goes, Otto, he goes, if you're going to get that signed by Shooter, why don't you get this signed by Shooter? Okay, I will. I'll buy that off you too. And he goes, and you're going to leave the last one? You're, he goes, he goes, you're going to leave the last one just sitting there? And I said, oh man, which one? And he goes, you're going to leave Otto Octavius? all by himself. And I said, no, I can't leave out all by himself. So I bought all three. Um, so shout out to my man, Dennis for comics. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right. All right. So let me show you something else. So you guys know, I've been working on this print for quite a few time for quite often. Um, so Isad Rivik was there and, um, uh, bag Mark Bagley was there. And I was like, you know what? I got to add a few sketches. Let me see how much they'll charge. So uh, I waited in line to see Mark Bagley and he didn't charge me. And he did that Felicia sketch right there on this print that I've been working on for quite some time. Um, and I asked Isad Ribic to do a Spider-Man head and he did it right there and he signed it. And I've got such greats as Mike Zek, Bob McLeod, Joe, uh, Randy Emberlin, Donnie Cates, Jim Shooter signed it. Al Milgram did a sketch. Uh, Rubenstein did. Roy Thomas did. And uh, got one more area, or maybe two, 
probably just one more that I'm going to add, either a Green Goblin sketch or a Hobgoblin. Uh, they didn't charge me for any of this, uh, and I thought that was really, really cool. So um, closing it, I only have it in this frame. When it's done, I'm going to add it to a, uh, um, a custom-made frame. So cool. All right. Now, I'm all about the art of the deal, okay? So your books have equity. What can you do? So follow me along on this. JNS Collectibles are good friends. Buys books, sells books. They're always doing deals. They've got big books. Make sure you always check out JNS Collectibles. But he works with a few of his other guys. And I, I can't remember the guy's name offhand, but he had a book that I was after for quite some time, Journey to Mystery 103, double first appearance of the Executioner and uh, the Enchantress. He had the Journey to Mystery at a 5-0. Now, as you can see from what you saw, and back here, I've been really digging these Journey into Mysteries at about a 4, 5, 5, 0. Solid grades from books um, from the early, early 60s, like 63, 64. Uh, and if you can find them, 5 is a solid grade for these books because, man, they're almost 60 years old at this point. All right. So he had a price. He knocked it down 100. And uh, he said, hey, Otto, he goes, um, you know, I'll do it for six. I said, okay. I had some money in my PayPal, but I was also sitting on a few books. I had the first vision, which I had priced at about six fifty, and I had a Doctor Voodoo, which I had uh, priced at about two twenty five. Now that was at full retail, not at wholesale. So I said, "Well, let me see what I can do." So I went up to Steve's buddy and I said, "Hey, a trade plus cash," and he goes, "No, he goes because I own 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 half the book." All right. So Steve said, "What do you got?" I showed him. I know Steve's not going to give me full retail for it because he's got to wholesale it. So I it was into the guy for six hundred the book and uh i looked at steve he looked at the vision he goes this is a nice copy uh brother voodoo was a good copy too i said he goes what are you looking i go steve how about five so the brother voodoo came from my pc i paid 100 bucks for that a few years ago but the vision was in the collection that i bought okay so five he gave me 500 three seconds later i gave it to his buddy and i paypal him 100 bucks and i ended up with this right here, Strange Tales 103, uh, 5.0, white pager, bullet boy pages, a book that I've been hunting for a long time um, and was able to secure the deal. But a deal, that, a book that I've been looking at for almost four months. All right. So the art of the deal, your books have equity. I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. So don't be afraid to talk to dealers, make relationships with them. So then... I was running around all day Sundays, getting that stuff done, working like an animal. So I said, I've got to work on the Christmas card. You guys know the 3MIB Christmas card. Um, I missed John Romita Jr., unfortunately. But I did get three more signatures. Mark Bagley, right down there. I got, oh, four more signatures. I got Larry Hama. I got Fabian Nicenza, right up here. And I got Isad Ribic. Where's his signature? uh right down there so four signature four more signatures added to the three mib christmas card as always around christmas time we're going to be giving away a uh, hundred of these reproductions with all the signatures on it you can see them all um bob mcleod mike zek uh donnie kate adam hughes um al milgram oh my god steranko she's so much gym shooter so many many people only adding a few more to it so got all these signatures done on Sunday. Jim Shooter didn't charge me. He signed Ribic. Nobody charged me for any of these signatures, Larry Hama. So I was very fortunate to get all of those signatures done um, that day. And that's pretty much my haul video. Okay, guys? So, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, watch all the con footage. We're going to be at Little Giant coming up in two weeks. So I want to hope to see you guys there. Come, chop it up. Uh, we're going to have a great time, but it's all, oh, and we did drop our 3MIB variant. Shout out to everybody who did pick that up. That was a huge seller. Our t-shirts were great. We gave giveaways every hour on the hour. So as always, you guys, subscribe now, like our videos, hit the notification bell button. And as always, I am Everett Otto. You've been watching Three Men in the Basement. I am out. Peace.